Today we're going to make our cherry mimosa. Hi everyone, Anthony here, General Manager for Von Steel Wineries in Captain's Walk. And today we're going to walk you through one of our favorite concoctions, the cherry mimosa. Um, so basic mimosa recipe is any kind of sparkling wine. Usually you use um, champagne for brunch, um, but it can be any traditional sparkling wine, OJ, or any kind of fruit juice. Um, for us, we're going to use Title Town uh, Moscato. We're going to use OJ and a little bit of cherry juice from our friends at Cherry Delight. So first, I uh, always like to put the champagne or the sparkling wine in first. Normally it's equal parts champagne or sparkling wine to juice. Um, generally gauge a big, uh, your size of the glass if you're using a full wine glass like this. Uh, it could be three or four ounces of sparkling wine to three or four ounces of juice. And then we're going to use a third here as a topper. So again, sparkling wine first. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the OJ. And last but not least, we're going to top it uh, with our cherry juice here from Cherry Delight. Now, if you want to get fancy, uh, you could try to layer it. Um, depending on how thick the juice is, the gravity, it may sink just like this, but we, we like creating really cool sunrise effects like this. Um, this will add a little bit more sweetness to it too. So when you do pure fruit juices like this, just watch. The sugar content could make it explode. It could make it super sweet. Um, so adjust to your own preference. And then for garnish, I'm going to garnish it with an orange slice. Um, but you have your choice of cherries, orange, or any kind of fruit that you're putting into it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this cocktail recipe. Tune into our YouTube channel or subscribe or hit the link below. And check out bondsteel.com or in captainswalk.com for more uh, future recipes and future updates. And we hope to see you here at Captain's Walk soon. Thank you.